What a crowd. But you're glad you all came out tonight. Couldn't do this without you. You guys look great, by the way. Listen, I'm not, I, uh, forget it. Let's see, you guys wanna hear some jokes? I can't promise you anything funny. It's all new material. Just bear with me, okay? Why did the duck cross the road? Because the farmer ran out of chickens. Yeah. Sorry for any animal rights activists out there. Hey, I'm a vegan too, man. You guys wouldn't, would you want to hear an airport joke? I mean, you hear them all the time. It's whatever. What was that? <laughs> What's this? These are jokes. No, you're a joke, fucking heckler. Uh, anyways, just bear with me. This one's still in the works. <laughs> do any of you listen to Spotify? Really, who do you listen to? Really? <laughs> you know what that dude's in jail for, right? Did you all hear what he just said? You, you want to tell them? Oh, no, no, no. Better yet. I'll save you all from his answer. Shame on you, sir. Shame. Anyways, Spotify. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm a, I'm a bit all over the place. Just bear with me. Uh, yeah, ads. I used to work really early in the mornings. UPS, not a place to work if you enjoy prioritizing the college life. I used to have to get up at one or two in the morning and load their trucks. Listening to music was the only way I survived that place. I would get groovy there too. I would pick up a box, go put it on the truck, then back to the conveyor belt. It was fucking horrible. And I mean horrible. I, uh, Never mind, that was going somewhere, but. I'm sorry, I just. Uh, never mind. Hey, you know what the perfect power couple are? A frat boy and a sorority chick. Don't know which one's which. That's not the right words. I think that it is, <laughs> they are the dynamic duo. Know why? One's an idiot and the other one amplifies it. Don't know which one's which? It's easy. All you have to do is listen to them bitch about their fucking problems. Yeah, bro. I don't get it why they're making us do all this testing and shit. It's a waste of time, you know? Oh, yeah? Why is that? Oh, you know. They just want to... You know, I heard from my dad's boss that they're just trying to take freedom away from us by indoctrinating us into these libtar beliefs. That's just not right, bro. You know? Oh my god, yeah. Also, the school is just like wanting to make sure we don't have like any more parties because of what happened two summers ago. There was like this mob and they were like totally flipping over buses and like sex parties and drugs and stuff. It was so crazy. So they're just like trying to keep us oppressed, like, like minorities and stuff. Mm -hmm. Right, university, it's where we make sure your kids are fucked for life. People are fucked up. They are, they really are. They say that you shouldn't judge a book based off of its cover. I think that's true to some extent. However, the people you hear say that can hardly read. 
Little can they sign their own name. People say a lot of things, you know. Don't judge a book based off its cover. Don't assume. Two wrongs don't make a right. People say a lot of things, you know, but that doesn't mean they do it. They say these things to fill some empty part of themselves. They crave for that sense of relevance. And what better way to feel like someone than by telling others what you think they should do? Some would say, what would Jesus do? Then go fuck the pastor. Some go to church, not because they believe, but because their parents went to church. It's expected of them. Others go because their friends go, or the people at work go. Some go because they have nothing else to do. They have nothing else to fill that emptiness inside themselves. Their cracked shell is cracking even more, and they're trying to cover it up with imaginary makeup and turtlenecks. It's not like people actually believe in gods or star signs or whatever. People are just in need of having something to live for. Can't all be for nothing, right? People are lonely. They'll give anything to fit in. Their identity, principles, even memories. They're willing to turn the other cheek if it means they can keep their VIP card to the social club. Conspiracy theorists and crossfitters alike. But they're lying. People are animals. Savages, ruthless, selfish, conniving beasts with a sliver of imagination and naive optimism. At the end, People only care for themselves. Even your politically correct boyfriend over there isn't really doing it for the right reasons. He's doing it to fit in, to follow his herd, to find his crowd, to have that sense of belonging. I wish I knew what it's like. We all think we're special, unique, born for a reason. I don't see it like that. How can you believe that any of this has to mean anything? Since when does luck mean anything? The way I see it, we're nothing more than mold on bread or moss on a stone. Give it the right circumstances and you can have life. And life evolves. With each offspring comes a slight mutation, a manipulation of the genetic code, which is passed down to the next generation and the next until we become unrecognizable. A new life, change, that's what we are. A story, a system within a system, a product of the right circumstances, nothing else. Some say that's a pessimistic way to look at it. They say it has to mean something. It doesn't. However, in the absence of meaning, there's sublimity, beauty, awe, horror. There's no divine plan by some diva that rests above the clouds. We're it. We breathe right here. We live in the moment right here. We are the past, the present, and the future. Can't we just cherish that? Can't we just Accept that and live our lives the way we want to instead of going to war over stupid ideas of what we think is right. Who's to say who's right? Who's to say who's wrong? In any argument, there's no wrong side. Not if both parties think that they're right. However, we continue to trick ourselves to believe, even in the face of doubt, that we are right that our way is the right way. And we believe in these things so strongly until it becomes a part of who we are. Perception is reality. If you believe that a God exists, then that God exists in your reality. You believe in something so strongly or just ignore the inner doubt within yourself so many times that you construct this world for which you could live out the rest of your scripted life, a life that's written by the expectations of others. There's no such thing as free will. I'm just gonna put that out there. We become the people we are, not because of our choices, but because of expectations. We want to be the person that exceeds those expectations, but we never do because of the social consequences. 
They have the power to choose who we are, what we do, and what we become. And if you resist, you'll pay for it. And it doesn't matter how free you think you are, how unique or special you think you are, how much of a man you think yourself to be, how big your ego or pride are. None of it matters. So drop the act, because through it all, no one is watching. <laughs>